Hey, I'm Paul Acevedo with Windows Central. We're talking to Fred from Interceptor. So can you tell us about your new game, Bombshell? Yes, uh, Bombshell is an action RPG. You know what, I don't with, care. Uh, Let's talk about the Philippines. Yeah, or, you know, pastry. Something a little bit more interesting. Yeah, and I could go for a pastry. It turns out I'm a gaming journalist, and it's, I'm actually supposed to care about the games I write about. So, for real, will you tell us about Bombshell? No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, Bombshell is an action RPG with uh, with different elements of, of third-person, first-person, and top-down shooter. Um, it takes place in present-day uh, Washington. You play as Shelley Harrison, a bomb disposal expert who lost her arm in an accident. Uh, the White House gets attacked by alien forces, and Bombshell decides to get back into action after being retired. And, uh, and she tries to, f- to fight off this alien race and ends up on a planet in a galaxy far, far away. So you travel around the galaxy trying to hunt down the villain of the game, a uh, scientist madman called Jettis Haskell, who, uh, who is presumed to be behind this alien attack. So uh, it's an epic intergalactic adventure of, of a lot, ton of action. Your robot arm can turn into a lot of weapons. It can jump off and be controlled separately and so on. It's a very interesting game. So I noticed the story seems kind of serious. Is it a tongue-in-cheek thing, or is it played completely straight? It is a tongue-in-cheek thing. It is. Uh, it, it's. 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 It's a. It's a pretty serious storyline, but it's full of awesome one-liners, cool jokes, great references, stereotypes, pop culture references, and so on. It's. It's. It's a ton of fun. It's the kind of games we love. Yeah. And can you tell us a little more about the actual gameplay? Yeah. So the gameplay feels like playing a first-person shooter in terms of its controls. You control the game with WASD and the mouse, or the you know, twin sticks if you use controller. Uh, you jump with space, you can slide, use the crouch button. Uh, so it plays like a first-person shooter, like a Twitch shooter. It's extremely fast-paced. Uh, it's very unique for a top-down game uh, to, to, to feel like a first-person shooter. Uh, the cool thing is it allows us to change the camera as we want in the game uh, and keep the controls the same. Um, it's extremely fast-paced. You have a ton of different abilities you can use together with your movement and your shooting, such as something called the, the Mighty Punch. You can use the Power Slide, Bubble Shield, and so on. Uh, so that, that's that's basically what the game feels like to play. So I noticed there's a turret sequence, and the yeah. camera angle changes dramatically, huh? Exactly. That's one of the sequences where it goes into third person. That is really cool. So how did you guys end up with 3D Realms as your publisher? So we actually, uh, like a year ago, we were working on another game, and as part of that, we worked together with 3D Realms. And uh, later that year, we actually acquired 3D Realms, uh, and we're now almost a big family. So the 3D Realms is the publishing branch. So uh, when when working for 3D Realms, we uh, we we try to, to to rise again as a publisher. We get a lot of new games on, under our wings. Uh, Bombshell being the first, which is developed by Interceptor, which is also our company, which is the developer branch. So Interceptor does the main games and Freelance publishes them, and then we have a range of other games coming under our umbrella that we're really excited to, to show off later this year. Nice. And what platforms is Bombshell coming to? So Bombshell is coming out uh, on fall, in fall 2015 on uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Okay. So this is going to be a single-player game? A uh, single-player and then we have an expansion uh, that we just started working on that will maybe have some multiplayer crop components. Uh, it's still something we're, we're planning, but it's definitely something we're really, really interested in. How long is this game going to be? The game, the main single player campaign is going to be around 14 to 16 hours. Um, we have a, a, a small Metroidvania aspect in the game, which means that when you restart the game after finishing it, uh, you can gain access to new areas you probably wouldn't have been able to earlier because you leveled up specific elements of your arm that allows you to go to these new areas. So, so there will be a second or third playthrough that will be even harder where you can gain access to new places and so on. Oh, nice. So, like, what's one of these arm abilities that you can level up? So, one, for instance, is in the um, in the third. Uh, level, uh, the third level in the game, the second level in the uh, the world called Chiron. Uh, there is, for instance, a, a place where you walk over these symbols in the ground and they light up. Uh, but later in the game, you can upgrade your arm so it can detach itself and you can control it. When you get back to this area, the second playthrough, you figure out that if I detach my arm now and put it on these symbols together with myself, a bridge will appear. So there are there are different elements later on that 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 that, uh, that you can unlock with abilities you get through the first place. That's pretty fun. All right, so you say Bombshell is coming out in the fall? Yeah. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. All right.